Harden High School Television presents the Harden Student Council production of Mr. Harden 2018 Fairy Tales. Welcome all of you to the Harriton Auditorium, where for the 11th year in a row, Mr. Harriton will be crowned. Please refrain from flash photography and silence your cell phones. Of course, you can still take photos and videos. All performances are approved by the Harriton administration. Mr. Harriton 2018 starts right now. Once upon a time in the quaint village of Rosemont, there was a great castle called Harriton. There, a tourney was held each year to find the most eligible bachelor in all the land. This year, fairy tale characters from every cavern, tavern, and malvern will come together to compete for the title of Mr. Harriton. Uh, yada yada yada, and they all lived happily ever after. The end. What? That's it? Who wins Mr. Harriton? Where's the happy ending? You know what? Life doesn't have a happy ending, okay? And happy birthday. You're dreaming about me? That's not the point. We need to plan Mr. Harridan. Mr. what? Mr. Harridan. Oh, is that us? Yes. What do people usually do for that? Eh, uh, I think that's a little played out. We need a theme. What about phobias? You know, snakes, spiders, heights, the crippling fear that you'll never be able to fill John D.R.'s shoes. Okay, how about the five stages of grief? Having to deal with Nikki Kotler every single day. We need a winner. I was almost a winner once. <laughs> Easy there, Liberace. Eighth in the show, first in our hearts. Chuck, you're living in a fairy tale. Wait a minute. That's it! Phobias! What you said? I call for all the fairy tales to assemble!
No one has heard from you. What do you mean? I mean, Mr. Harridan was tonight. I already planned the whole thing by you myself. You planned Mr. Harridan by yourself? You got a problem with that? You don't trust me? I thought we had a partnership here. Oh my god. It's gonna this be a great a show. This is a nightmare. It's gonna be fine. Let me show you what I got. Where have you been? I took a power nap. For three months? It was supposed to be 20 minutes. Did you really play Mr. Harden by yourself? What, do you doubt me? Yeah! I don't know why you always doubt me. You don't think I can just do something right for once? Prove me wrong. <laughs> Watch this. Yeah, I got nothing. I got this. Wait, what?
Hello and welcome everyone to the 11th annual Mr. Harridan. My name is Emma Dams and I'm your student council president. And my name is Jack Mendelson and I'm your student council vice president. And we are super excited that you're here tonight. Uh, before we begin, we'd like to thank every single one of you for coming out tonight and supporting our show and the three charities for which we are raising money tonight. As a reminder, this is the Four Diamonds Foundation, the American Red Cross, and the Laura Marion Scholarship Fund. Now, consider us your fairy godmother for the evening as we embark on a magical journey through your childhood. Making stops at each of your most cherished fairy tales along the way. So think back. Parents, teachers, think way back. To that favorite bedtime story of yours. The Fountainhead? Not quite. Then what? Well, why don't we let the boys show you tonight? All right. Your 2018 Mr. Harrity contestants are, and feel free to applaud, Alex Wu. <laughs> Rogers. Jack Torbeck. Max Morrow. Marquis Marshall. Jacob Eisman. Nikki Kotler. Nate Nogbajara. And Alex Chang. Wow, what a cast of characters. They must get themselves into some zany misadventures. Hey, while we're introducing people, why don't we meet the fabulous Harrod and staff members who will be judging tonight's show? Well, first we've got the queen of college confidential, Miss Count Giacomo. The incredible Mr. McNichol, try and stay through the whole show this time. Everyone's, everyone's favorite science teacher's wife, Miss Gauvin. <laughs> A warm welcome to Mrs. Marcelli. She is new, so we're not gonna make fun of her. And the IB boy, I'm sorry my extended essay was so late, Thomas O'Brien. They will be spending tonight criticizing everything these poor boys have worked so hard on the past four months. Real nice, Tom. Well, we need you guys home before you turn into pumpkins. So without further
further ado, let's welcome our first contestant, Alex Wu. Sponsored by Campus Apartments.
an Amram. I was going to say two Alex moves. Two Alex moves. Yeah, well, that was really impressive. I mean, I can talk to myself, but it's not impressive. He's got mad skills for sure. Something he shares with our next contestant, Ethan Rogers, sponsored by Chenko. This performance will leave you saying, Gosh! Ethan Rogers. <laughs> was dynamite. Napoleon dynamite. Well, after that, Pedro has my vote. Oh, girls don't like guys with great skills. Or lots of money. Speaking of which, our next contestant is sponsored by Berkshire Hathaway. Ooh, more about it does have Yeah, but it's too bad he's wasting away at Margarita, though. Wrong Buffett. Oh. Uh, anyways, up next we have Jack Torbeck. You'll be jumping for joy after this talent. Does he have a lot of money?
That's true. Torbeck did have a number of third graders giving him a helping hand. Speaking of a helping hand, before we go on to our next contestant, we're going to show a quick video from a charity that we're supporting tonight. Here's a brief word from the American Red Cross on their hurricane relief efforts. A very important reminder of why we're really here. Well. Why are we here? Because if you ask me, I'm more of the viewpoint that there is no free will, and that from our genetics and upbringing, we have made a series of unconscious decisions that has led us here today. What? I don't know. That's all I got on my parking ticket. I have a lot of questions. Well, that's good, because our next contestant has a lot of answers. Give it up for Max Flora. Sponsored by Style Encore.
So cut them up and make some zest. I know this pie will be your best. We put your skills to the test the day we made this pie. And I was singing, my, my, this is key lime pie. Put it in the oven at 375. <laughs> and when you're done, yeah, you'll feel so alive. So get ready for some key lime pie. Let's start serving up some key lime pie. Chick, then I pull off in my whip, my B 
People hate cause they know I got the trip Look at my diamonds dancing on my wrist Splurge gang, you can't hang me the dick We the twin that's your chick Then I pull up in my whip But people hate cause they know I got the drip Look at my diamonds dancing on my wrist Splurge gang, you can't hang me the shit We the twin that's your chick Then I pull up in my whip In my whip Paradise, make some noise. Let's go. Hey, BBS is buying and shining on my picky ring. Good with design about the cop of Cuban lane. Diamonds are frozen, looking like snow. I'm on up my gang. You is lame, I chill your man. You me, BBS is buying and shining on my picky ring. Good with design about the cop of Cuban lane. Diamonds are frozen, look like snow. I'm on up my gang. Slam, I told you, man, make sure to get it. BBS was on my neck, like a poppin' hell. I said, y'all never took me back to the world. Driving forwards and I fall out, and I fall in my drawers, cause that's just my style. I had to tell my brothers, time to level up. That talk and put it over my pistol, but I put that deal better duck. People hate, but they really wish they us. BBS is buying and shining on my picky ring. Go with design about the cop of Cuban Lang. Diamonds are frozen, look like snow. I'm rolling on my game. You can just lay in my church and man. Make sure you give me rain. Give me a thing, don't run my name. I'm gonna kill the castle. Then I'm chilling down in Houston with my Astros. Quick to chalk a chicken, she mess up the castle. And if your girl is drowning you, you got no backbone. Huh. Hop in the race and I cruise. Me and my crew, we got nothing to lose. Huh. All of my hunters are losing. Talking at you, but don't want it with me. Huh. Talking okay. at you, but don't want to smoke. Me, my group, pull up, no joke. Me and Mookie never go broke. Me and Mookie never hey. go broke. VVS is mine and shining on my pinky, man. Yo, what design? No, about to cop a Cuban, man. Diamonds are frozen, they look like snow. I'm a little in my gang. You can just lay my children, man. Make sure I keep me right. VVS is mine and shining on my pinky, man. Yo, what design? No, about to cop a Cuban, man. Diamonds are frozen, they look like snow. I'm gonna let my gang. You just lay my truth, your man. Make sure they get right. Ooh, splurge gang, splurge gang. Ooh, splurge gang, splurge gang. Hey, hey, splurge gang, splurge gang. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yo, Harrod in high school, make some noise. I think some of y'all know this song. If you do, please sing along. Key, what you cooking up? In the kitchen, cooking up the hot top ramen. You don't want no beef with you. Cause I stay just in designer. You can't hang with my gang. Lame. You a lame. It's a shame. Speak it back. Hot top ramen. One, two, three, go. I've been in the kitchen, cooking up the hot top ramen. You want no beef with chicken. Cause I stay just in designer. You can't hang with my gang. Switch it lame. You a lame. It's a shame. Speak it back. Hot top ramen. That's back. I've been in the kitchen cooking up the hot top ramen. You don't want no beef with Cause I stay dressed in design, you can hang with my gang. Push that lane, you a lane, it's a shame. Big as bad, hot top ramen, that's it. I've been in the kitchen cooking up that hot top ramen. My girl in a designer, that don't say ain't gonna buy Gucci, Louis, Prada. Think you desire, and this shit good enough. I let her go back my lava. I've been in the kitchen, yeah, 350 degrees. They got that heat, no messing with me. Bring my cousin Steve, Looney Gang, on the chain, nigga crazy. Same if on the chain, Mookie Man in this, and I'm vibing with my, and she, I'm like, I, you, on these sheets, Renaissance, yeah, with I spend best, so, have a stack for some Kanye, my girl better than Beyonce, in the trap where I stay, out of discuss, have a stack for some Kanye, my girl better than Beyonce, in the trap where, had a discuss like Steve Nash, I've been in the kitchen cooking up that hot top ramen, one of beef and chicken, that's that shit that's in this You can hang with my gang, put your lane, you a lame, it's a shame You can lay, I don't want it, that's your fame I've been in the kitchen, up there, hot top ramen One no beef and chicken, that's that shit that's in this You can hang with my gang, put your lane, lane, shame You can lay, hot top ramen, it's a shame Hey, splurge, gang, splurge, gang, splurge, gang, splurge, gang, splurge, splurge 
Slurks! Slurks! You got it, Key. You got it, Key. Okay, guys. It's time to get a little serious. Those of you who know me know I have a beautiful girlfriend by the name of Tula Child. And going on for three years, and I just think it's time to get serious. Tula Child. Charles, would you make me the happiest man in the world? And, but, I mean, go to prom with me. So.
before we see your shots. Before we put the story down for a quick break, we'd like to draw your attention to the wonderful charities we are supporting tonight. As you have seen, we'll be allocating tonight's funds between the Four Diamonds Foundation, the American Red Cross, and the Lower Marion Township Scholarship Fund. Uh, this year we are using our scholarship fund donation to honor the memory of our classmate, Graham Dixon. Um, Nick Merriam and Zach Manley will now join us on the stage to speak about that. Thanks, Emma. Thank you, student council. Yeah. Um, I mean, I can't really say we're happy to be doing this, but we're certainly honored to be doing it. And, um, you know, Graham is a guy who's really worth remembering with the scholarship fund donation because he was so intelligent and studious and creative. And, um, you know, unfortunately, he was taken from us when we were freshmen. We're not seniors like most of those guys performing. So uh, a lot of you might not remember him, but um, he was a soft-spoken guy. No one disliked him with his own quirky sense of humor. And uh, you know, it's only fitting that he would be remembered by his dedication because he really was an altruistic person and really set a high standard in academics. So yeah, we'll remember him for that. Some of the things that he did uh, when he was alive for fun and you know to encourage his mind were he was an avid TSA member a martial artist close to taking the black belt test, and little known fact, a fan of Metallica and dubstep. <laughs> and as a TSA member, one, that, uh, one event that him and his and our friend group have really focused on last few years, not me, but no, uh, is video game design. And finally this year, they got first place in video game design with the thought of <laughs> I, um, I've worked with um, Mr. Ben Sidoroff, who unfortunately could not be here tonight on that event for years. Um, most of it with Graham when we were younger, and we would have won years ago if he was still with us. We always subtly integrate penguins into the game, which is something that you guys might not know if you don't remember him, but if you do, then you definitely will remember this. Uh, it's so powerful that he was able to be visually represented by the animal penguin, which is, was his favorite. And we call it green, too. Yes. So, so we always subtly integrate that penguin into the game, and well, we did it for him. Thank you. Thank you, student council, for this.
dance was almost as toxic as my ex-wife. You were married? Well, I was. She left me because she insisted on a five diamond ring. I told her I like four diamonds. Who doesn't love four diamonds? My ex-wife. Anyway, here's a bit about Marcus Josie and his family. Yet another great example of how your contributions from tonight will help families in need. And on that note, the next chapter in our story features our only junior, Jacob Eisen. Sponsor. <laughs> they paid a lot for these sponsorships. Sponsored by DeBruno Brothers.
that performance? I've certainly got eyes for that man. Well, I've got something that you've never seen. And probably will never want to see again. Please welcome the extremely one of a kind, Nikki Kotler. Sponsor? Sponsored by Men's Warehouse, who provided all of these elegant tuxes tonight. Inexplicable reason they did not want us to introduce him tonight. 
Imagine that. We're not hurt, but we would like to hand off the mic to fellow contestant and friend and part-time botanist, Marky Marshall, a special introduction. Stage, we got one of the fun young brothers. My brother was one of my Bible study brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, coming up next to the stage, we got one of the original kings of comedy. Give it a one of applause for Nate Eggnog. Who are you? King George? 
get it, because like he's he's like he's like the king and he didn't like loyalists who were in Boston and he didn't like like women who benefited from the patriarchal society. Get it, right? <laughs> well, all right. So I'm gonna ask you, mate, how do you, how do guys from Harry talk? How do some guys from Harry talk? Well, you might bump into them in the hall, so you might bump into Sorry. The old world. <laughs> Yo, what you doing in my way, bro? You drawing right now. I'm trying to bump into I'm drawing, you drawing, bro. Yo, I, I didn't mean I didn't mean to bump into you, man. Bro, you drawing like Jeremy, Jeremy, you know me. We gone to second grade together. I don't did you grow up talking? Bro, you didn't grow up talking like that. We went to second grade, like I don't know if that's how you speak. You're kinda like, you know, half Asian kid like me. Bro. Bro. Just, just speak to me normally, use your normal voice, it'll be fine. Really, bro? <laughs> oh my god, this is girly. I'm, ah, oh, it's so relaxing. I feel like a lady to get off my shoulder. Thanks, me. Yeah, no problem. Harrington, you've been a lovely audience. Thank you for your time.
the talent portion of this evening. From here on out, the boys will have nothing to get by on besides their good looks. Does that leave them with anything? Uh, for three of them, no. <laughs> up next, we have the next chapter of our tale you've all really been waiting for. Time to crown a winner? We already have our winners. I give it another month before we care about anything other than the Eagles. Fair enough. Speaking of the Eagles, it's time to pick the winner of our raffle drawing. So let's welcome on the stage a heritage treasurer. Olivia Ebner. And the Eagles fullback coach, tight end coach. Justin Peel.
everyone, I'm Lauren Levy and I'm your Sergeant at Arms. And I'm Lynn, the treasure, we already heard that. Um, <laughs> um, so we're going to announce the raffle winners of tonight. Um, I want to give a huge thank to Lizzie Penna. She worked super hard on getting every single one of these baskets together. So if you see her, shout her out. She's amazing. All right. We're gonna start it off with the Eagles gear basket. With a value of $175, it gets to go to my favorite family, the Dan's family. <laughs> it wasn't rigged, I didn't pick it. I'm just letting you know, sorry. And this Eagles gear basket includes an insulated coffee mug, tattoos, car stickers, a rally towel, socks, sweatshirt, t-shirt, and a women's shirt. Next up, we have the Heritage basket. Um, that went to Valentine Beck Bater. 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 That includes free admission to any sports game, sweatshirt, three t shirts, um, a glass. Yeah. Our next basket is a cycleware basket, and it includes a five class pack that is valued at $150, and our winner is Allie Roberts. Hey girl, are you a campfire? Cause you're hot and I want some more. Yeah. 
not my boyfriend? No. Do you want one? Yes. Dang it. <laughs> hey, Graciela, if you were a Transformer, do you know what your name would be? No, what? Optimus Fine. of the evening. My name is Ben Feldman, and I'm your secretary. And again, I'm Liv Ebner, and I'm your treasurer. We begin tonight's Q&A section with star baseball player Alex Chang, sponsored by Lee Rosenfeld of Mesa & Associates. So Alex, Prince Charmings are pretty hard to come by these days, and of course you have to compete with most of the guys on this stage. So tell us, who do you think is your biggest competition? It would definitely have to be Jack Torbeck, because I know how hard it must be to jump rope. Now we have Nate Navajara, sponsored by Deathworks. Deadworks, for all those new families with teenage drivers, Deadworks. Nate, you're the ugly duckling of this year's Mr. Harrod. So tell us, who's your two glow tube plastic surgeon? Oh, well, I like to think I'm an all natural. Nate, shut up. What? You're ugly, just get off the seat. What? What are you doing? Guys? Just leave. Please leave. Thank you. And we now have Nikki Kotler, sponsored by Men's Warehouse. Hi, Mom. So, Nikki, you were once the leader of a notorious, now defunct, cryptozoology club here at Harrogate. So, tell us, is Bigfoot's foot really bigger than a foot? Uh, what is James Joyce's The Dead? That's not how this works. Noted. No wonder this that club didn't last very long. <laughs> Up next is Jacob Eisman, sponsored by the Bruno Brothers. Hello. Jacob, your theme is Three Little Pigs. Describe your dream house. I mean, tough question. Really, just any house big enough to host all these wonderful people and all these wonderful judges. Up next, we have future lacrosse all-star, Marquis Marshall, sponsored by Merrill Lynch. 
So, so tell, tell us, Goldilocks, how do you like your ramen noodles? Um, well, you know, you gotta start with some salt, you know. You can't have too much salt, then you're lost, you know. But, uh, don't be too salty, my friends. Up next is Max Flora, sponsored by Style Encore. Jack Torbeck, sponsored by Berkshire Hathaway. So, Jack, as these people may or may not know, your real name is Stephen. So tell us, Stephen, which Jack is your biggest inspiration? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Jack in the Box. The way he overcame his claustrophobia is truly inspiring. And last but certainly not least, we have Alex Wu, sponsored by Campus Apartments. So, Alex, we see that you're pretty good at the cello. So tell us, what's your favorite yo-yo module? Oh, Ben, have I got one for you. Ben, your mama is so stupid at that. Oh, yo-yo module. I'm sorry. Before we hand the mics over, let's give another round of applause to the 2018 Mr. Harrington contestant.
Don't worry, that money will still be going there. Okay. Now, before we crown the winner, there are some important people responsible for all that you saw here tonight that we need to thank. Uh, firstly, and from the beginning, we have a huge thanks to the Brim Bar Presbyterian Church and David Smith uh, for an offering of free practice space and our new one. That was huge. Jacob Eisner! 
show. There's no show without an audience. Look at the smile on that boy's face. Drive home safe, thank you very much. It's like murder, she rolled Once I get you out the clothes Privacy's on the door But still they can hear you screaming more Girl, I'm feeling what you're feeling No more hoping and wishing I'm about to take my key and Stick it in the ignition So give me that Let me get that Running her hands through my fro Bouncing on 24 Why they saying I'm ready, It's the remix to Ignition Hot and fresh out the kitchen Mama ruling that body Got every man in here wishing Sipping on coke and rum I'm like, so what, I'm drunk It's the freaking weekend Baby, I'm about to have me some fun Crystal popping in the stretch navigator We got food everywhere As if the party was catered We got fellas to my left Honey's on my right We bring them both together We got juking all night Then after the show It's the after party yeah. Then after the party It's the hotel lobby yeah. Around about four You gotta clear the lobby Then yeah. take it to your room And somebody Can I get a can I get a Running her hands through my fro yeah. Bouncing on 24 Come on, why they saying I'm ready It's the remix to ignition Hot and fresh out the kitchen Mama ruling that body Got every man in here wishing Sipping on coke and rum I'm like, so what, I'm drunk It's the freaking weekend, baby I'm about to have me some fun It's the remix to ignition Hot and fresh out the kitchen Mama ruling that body Got every man in here wishing Sipping on coke and wrong. Yeah. I'm like, so what, I'm drunk uh -huh. It's the freaking weekend, baby yeah. I'm about to yeah. have me some fun Come on, girl, we all feel this G All in the goes up Last in the radio In the back of my truck Bouncing up and down Stroke it round and round To 